Hi, fourth graders. Uh, this is Mr. Wedge, your art teacher, and today we're going to draw some value scales. We're going to do two value scales, and for this you'll need a piece of paper, a Q-tip, and a pencil. And if you don't have a Q-tip, you can take a tissue and just twist up the end, because we're going to use it to blend the pencil. So, I like to work the tall way, and you should always put your name on the back and then whatever your class code is underneath. You can write value scales at the top. V-A-L-U-E-S-C-A-L-E. -E. And then we're going to do two, so we'll make two long boxes. Just like that. And the top one I'm going to split into five boxes. So I have two boxes. It looks like a big equal sign. But the top one I'm going to actually split into five different boxes. So I like to do a square in the middle like that. And then take the ones on the side and split those in half. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five. So our first value is going to be really easy because it's white. And white is as light as it gets. It doesn't get lighter than that. So I don't have to do anything for that first box. The second one is light. So it's not as, as light as white, but it's still pretty light. So when I shade it, I'm going to push down very lightly, just gently. And I'm going to move my pencil back and forth and just make that first box, or I mean the second box, light gray, just like that. And then, if, to get rid of the lines, you can take your Q-tip and just rub it back and forth. And that'll just make it solid gray like that. Kind of gets rid of the lines. Because you want a value, you don't want, uh, you don't want a, it's not a, a line drawing, it's just gray, right? This one's medium. So I'm not going to push down hard or light, I'm just going to do it kind of medium. So it'll be a little bit darker than this. So I'm shading it in, but I'm pushing down a little bit harder. I'm not going dark yet though. And make sure you go right to the edges of the box and fill the whole box in so it's just one solid gray. And try to get rid of it so there's no more lines, just like that. And then blend it with your Q-tip. And just be careful on the edges so it looks nice and neat. So there we go. So I have white, light, medium. Now I'm going to go dark. So to do that I have to push down a lot harder. So I'm going to shade in and fill up this whole box, but this time I'm going to push down way harder than I did before. But I'm still going to go right to the edges. And I'm not pushing down as hard as I can because i got to save that for the end. But there we go. And then I'm going to blend it again. And at the very end, I'm just going to push down as hard as I can to do it. So, as hard as you can without breaking the pencil lead. That's what you should do. It's really hard to get black with uh, graphite, because it's really just dark gray anyway. But as long as you're getting it as dark as you can, it's good enough. And then you blend it like that. So that's it. So we've got white, light, medium, dark, and black, we'll call it. And that's one value scale. But we're also going to do a value scale where we fade it, because each one of these boxes is just solid gray, right? Well, in art, what you can do when you shade is actually go from light to dark, but you can blend it from light to dark. So I like to turn my paper a little bit like this. And I'm going to start out the same way. You can just copy this one. But this whole thing is going to be one big faded uh, bunch of values. So you're not going to see any lines like this or any jumps. It's just going to fade from white all the way to black. So once I get to about here, it's going to start to be light. So I'll just barely push down with my pencil and I'll just be shading back and forth like this. And then as I go, I'm going to push down a little bit harder each time. And I know that when I get to the middle, 
I'm going to want to be pushing down kind of medium so it matches the top. The difference with the bottom value scale is that it's not, um, there's not gradual, there's not individual jumps. It fades, it's gradual. So this is also called a gradation. I'm going from one thing to another, but I'm fading it as I go. And now I'm in the dark region, so I want to be pushing down a lot harder with my pencil here, but I still don't want any lines to show. So this is the, like the second one you should do. It's a little bit trickier. And do your best to stay inside. And then once you get all the way to the end, you hit this wall, that's when you should be pushing down as hard as you can. And then you can go back up through the other way and just kind of fix little things as you go, just to make it look a little bit better. And then I like to go through and clean up the edges with the eraser, just so it looks a little nicer. And then you can take your Q-tip and just blend the whole thing, get rid of the lines. And like I said, if you don't have a Q-tip, just twist up a tissue or a paper towel. And just like when you use the pencil, for the dark areas, you can push down real hard over here. And then you can do it very lightly when you get over here, because you don't want to... You'll actually, you could be able to color with this because it's got graphite on it, but you don't want this to be dark at all, so real lightly when you get up here. So that's it, two value scales. So work hard, have fun.